Halo Mega has come a really long way since their first edition Ghost in 2009. Well, it looked a little bit more like this. This is the Halo Mega Blocks Covenant Ghost. Proof Halo Mega never stopped trying. This set does exactly what the name implies. It gives you one Covenant Ghost, and then we also get three extra grunts and an Elite 2. Released in 2009, this set left a lot to be desired, but isn't as bad as it looks. So let's talk about this Ghost. This set was the only completely Covenant set released for Mega's first year, so it had to be something that was classic and recognizable. I must say this Ghost is pretty recognizable. This Despite the design flaws, it still looks like a ghost. The front winglets were the best part of this set. Matching the shape of the ghost perfectly, and albeit completely studded, they still look pretty good, and could kind of hold up today. This is the only time, however, that Mega's Plasma Blasters have really just been one cone piece. For the most part, they got the job done, but definitely were missing some of the design that we saw in later eras of this ghost. Depending on your part quality, this thing also could come off quite frequently, but for me, it stays on pretty well. The first few iterations of Mega's ghost lacked a lot of movement, so these winglets here that are supposed to spin can't really move at all. In fact, they're not supposed to. If you try to move them, they will come off. And that was one big downside of this one. There's just not a lot of play feature. But that's one way that shows us how much Mega really put into work on the Ghost and make it better. Now this one works flawlessly. Since the original Stepping Stone, they even added a way to attach Flood. My favorite piece of this set is this one that's highly detailed and meant to represent the overall engines of this Ghost. And it looks pretty good. There is a tiny little sticker above it though that was kind of annoying to put on. It's great detail, but so small. Speaking of stickers, the use of stickers is rampant in this set. They are everywhere, and on this control panel, while the sticker looks good, it's still just another sticker and they can get kind of annoying. The handlebars are also a little bit frustrating. Due to their design, the hand is kind of difficult to place on with the minifigures. You have to put it on the side and not really directly in the middle, so it doesn't quite attach completely. But ultimately, he can ride around that way, and it works just fine. Mega gave us more stickers on the back, including this Covenant logo, which actually attached pretty well and doesn't look bad. And we get the same engine piece on the other side with the same tiny little sticker. But we also get bullet hole stickers at the very top on all of the purple, which actually don't look too bad, but they are still those clear stickers that tend to peel. The inclusion of these is unique and not something that I would say is necessary, but a detail you can add that could help for play and even display. But the problem comes from those pieces in the front. Due to their shaping, it just looks weird. It makes this ghost go from something that's supposed to be round to something more of a cone shape. Comparing it to my favorite and some of the latest ghosts, you can see that it's just not really round and it looks very interesting compared to the other ones. I would say this old version is probably the most unique ghost we've ever gotten, but it's also probably the least accurate. Funny enough, despite having released better ghost models in the time, Mega actually used this old ghost model for the squad 45 animation. Take a look. Well, would you look at that? It's our ghosty. Well, as always, the best part about any Halo Mega set is the minifigures. And these minifigures, while old, still pack a pretty decent punch. You may notice that these other two grunts in front of me are a little bit different than this one on the right. And those were actually released later in a different blind bag series from Halo Mega. So really the only grunt I have from this original set is the one on the right. For some reason, a lot of these old figures had a lighter tone than the later versions. Even the Elite here on the left is slightly different than later iterations like the one on the right. The three grunts that we got in this set were a great stepping stone for later iterations of the grunts that Halo Mega made, but the reality is these ones are just way too small. These grunts are seriously more mini than a Lego mini figure. That's how small they are. Funny enough, compared to a clone, they're still undersized. These may not be the best figures ever, but Mega did a very good job at nailing those finer details at such a tiny size. Just look at that head. It has even the mask on it, and it's tiny. The biggest downside to me all those years ago when I got these guys is just how little there is to move. There really isn't much movement at all. The arms can barely move, the head can kind of swivel, and the legs can go side to side. That's it. Our elite here is the exact same elite that we got in the Halo Mega Bloks Warthog in the same year. Year. Mega really wanted to get the best out of this design, color, and everything else, and they did a good job. I think more than anything, this Elite is here to be something that can pilot the Ghost, because the Grunts really just can't. I guess they can stand there, but because their hands can't move, they're never grabbing onto those little handles. Thankfully, the Elite they made is a solid figure, and the beam rifle it comes with is perfect just like the last one. And after this set, Mega started making variations of this Elite, with different weapons and colors that honestly look really great, and this is one of the best times of Halo Mega Blocks to just have all of these cool Elites that looked pretty good for their times and had great coloring. This Halo Mega Block set was far from perfect, but the reality is, this was a great stepping block toward the ghosts that we have today. 
I really think Mega learned a lot from this ghost, and it being the first just proves that Mega wants to actively improve their product and give us, the consumer, a better option, and they really have done that. 15 years of perspective on this stuff, it's awesome to see how much better Mega has done, especially with the grunts that first changed color, and then changed size, and then changed it again, and now we have the best iteration of grunts ever with removable masks and a whole bunch of movement. They also scale really well with the new minifigures too. Please consider sharing and liking this video to show how far Mega has come, and subscribe if you want to see more videos of this old Mega stuff and some of the new stuff that's coming out too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace.